I'm Kurt Belden. My life is hunting and fitness. I need to stay fit to hunt the way I want to hunt until I'm 80 or dead. <laughs> this is the best day of my life. For me, hunting's not a hobby. It's an obsession. All right, guys, Kurt Belding with Western Obsessions TV here. I, in this video, I am going to do an analysis of a shot that I took on a bull uh, in 2020. It was my 2020 Colorado over-the-counter archery tag. And uh, I had posted the shot on YouTube, got a lot of watches, a lot of comments, a lot of likes, a lot of confusion. So this is a follow-up video to break down that shot. Um, and clear up any confusion. So let's jump into the video. Um, but first off, before I jump in the video, let's go over the equipment that I use. So the bow that I used was a Matthews VXR 28 inch, um, 80 pound draw. The arrow that I used is the FMJs by Easton, the full metal jackets, and with a uh, Montec G5 100 grain carbon steel broadhead. A um, little bit of a lighter arrow than what I use now. I don't use this arrow, arrow anymore. I use, actually use the Easton's Axis with a, it's a four millimeter arrow carbon with um, a 75 grain, in, uh, 75 grain insert and 125 grain broadhead. So a little heavier arrow I, I use now. And the reason why I went away from this just to get, just to, and this applies to this video, is it's loud in the air. And the other reasons is the more I shoot these, they bend a little bit and aren't as true. So uh, anyway, let's jump into the video. So this is the shot that I took on this Colorado 2020 archery bull. And as you see, first let's analyze. This bull is standing broadside. Is this an ethical shot? Um, this is a 50 yard shot. He's standing absolute broadside. I'm gonna say 100% yes, it's an ethical shot. And then next, let's look at my aiming point. So my aiming point is this orange dot right here. This is where I'm aiming on this bull. And then I also put an orange line over down at its back just to show how much this bull drops and spins once he understands he's about to be shot. So um, let's go in and start playing this video. I'm also kind of like scrub it along in slow-mo. All right, and again, this, so this is a 50 yard shot. And for me, th I'm very confident with 50 yard shot. I shoot up to 100 yards weekly. Um, so 50 yards, I am 90 to 95% uh, kill. I'm in the kill zone every time uh, at 50 yards. So I'm super confident with that shot. And then with this shot right here, as you can see, the bull did not jump my string, which you would think typically happens with animals actually jump my arrow so as i scrub along the arrow actually comes into frame right here and he has not moved yet that means the bow has already gone off so what has happened here is he either saw this arrow or heard this arrow coming at him and just seconds before not even seconds split seconds before this arrow hits him just feet before he starts to move and spin so as you can see here he starts to move and spin he does not was not able to get out of the way arrow still hits him but let's now let's look at was this a good shot so again I have my aiming point this orange dot right here where does this arrow end up hitting as I slow it down contact right there there's contact on the bull the arrow just penetrates right there in the bull that is a maybe an inch inch and a half two inches at the most below where I was aiming so that was a very good shot now let's take a look at how much the bull has actually dropped. So from that orange marker, look how much he has dropped and spun before that arrow hits. So that is a tremendous amount. Um, as you guys, if you guys are hunting and shooting longer distance shots, that's something to be aware of is sometimes they may jump your bowstring, sometimes they may jump your arrow. So that is why I switched these arrows because this arrow is very loud going through the air. Um, now let's look at where did that arrow actually hit the elk. So 
where it hits contact, contact is right there, that is in the upper shoulder. That is in the top of the shoulder. And did I get lucky with this shot? I did get lucky, and here's how I got lucky. Typically, when that arrow hits around that area, I call that no man's land. That is just below the spine, above the vitals, going through meat, through back strap, and you are not gonna find or kill that animal. Where I got lucky is this isn't actually a spine shot. So as you see, the angle of that arrow right there as it gone into the bowl, the angle of the arrow is actually angling directly into the spine. So as he dropped and spun away, that arrow went straight up right into his spine. And where I thought this was a kind of a crazy shot on a bowl is not necessarily a shot itself because it's the shot itself is a 50 yard shot broadside, nothing difficult but it's how he dropped, spun, and then the arrow hit him, knocking him to the ground, and it almost looks like that arrow just pinned him right to the ground. So as we again watch it one more time, arrow hit, pin right to the ground. That's where I thought that was kind of a crazy shot. Um, but anyway, that is the shot broken down and analyzed. Thanks guys for watching. I appreciate all the comments on the original video all of them, all the positive and negative ones, but that this breaks down exactly where the shot hit, was it a good shot, was it a moral shot, and what happens after the arrow hits this bowl. So thanks a lot, appreciate all you.